Hey fellow YouTubers, this is N-Zero AGI. Just a short video on an experiment uh, with my helmet microphone setup. I've been having some weird distortion issues uh, with my previous setup, so I thought I'd give this uh, idea a shot. What I did was, uh, I think, I think having a noise cancellation microphone might work better. I don't believe the the Rode microphone, the lavalier microphone was doing any noise cancellation so to speak. Um, in any case, so what I did was um, I took one of my, you know, the the headset microphones that comes with your uh, cell phones when you purchase them in the box I rarely use them um, because uh, to begin with uh, they don't fit my ears that well so what I did was I took one of those microphone um, cell phone microphones I believe they have some good noise distortion, rather noise uh, cancellation features in them. And then I mounted that within the uh, the cattail or dead cat or whatever that's called. And then right in front of the um, the helmet here. So the way I mounted that was right in front of my mouth and uh, I'm hoping this would uh, work better. I feel like I tried many ideas but uh, this is probably um, far promising than the others it sounded like we'll, we'll see I'm not 100% sure if this will work um, the only way to figure that is to try all right well, a couple other things I wanted to talk about uh, maybe using this as an opportunity is uh, there's a uh, uh, cell phone mounting bracket by a company called Rockform. Um, I'm super impressed with uh, the quality and it's uh, really sturdy. It's all aluminum. Uh, the fit and finish is uh, very impressive. The box comes with the mounting bracket and a few uh, there's a couple of grommets that it comes with uh, to suit your bike's uh, handlebar diameter and uh, the bracket itself has uh, these notches in the back that provide a lock on or twist on twist off locking mechanism if you will so as you can tell I'm riding whatever 55 ish right now and that cell phone is not going anywhere it's re it's not wobbly as I mean it doesn't wobble at all um, even the way I have mounted it right now it's mounted uh, in a portrait format you could even mount it uh, in a horizontal landscape style uh, there's a lot of options there for adjustments and such so really impressed I really am liking this uh, product the uh, the way the cell phone mounts to the bracket is um, through the cell phone case and you have to purchase a cell phone case uh, separately obviously because it depends on which cell phone you have and such and then the case itself is made out of plastic I feel like it's okay it's not the best 
uh, fit and finish. I wish they had a metal casing for it, but it's all right. Um, the metal, the the phone casing comes with a sort of like a, a lanyard in the back, and the phone case also has these notches that can a couple with the bracket. And also, the phone case comes with a powerful um, magnet in the back. Um, and the magnet kind of provides additional kind of locking, additional security, if you will, uh, which attaches itself to the, uh, the cell phone bracket. And then um, this lanyard. Um, comes on uh, with the cell phone case and then it just provides an additional kind of security uh, the way I have it set up right now well uh, so that's that and I'll, I'll attach some pictures um, later on in this uh, video uh, to that kind of better describe a close-up view of this bracket The other thing I was going to talk about is this uh, the rider facing um, DJI um, camera. And um, I'm a big fan of DJI products. They make good products. Um, they make uh, decently priced products uh, I used uh, their um, I have their Osmo um, gimbal that I use for my cell phone uh, video shoot I used to own their uh, DJI uh, Mavic 2 uh, drone which I actually did uh, take it back uh, because I didn't find much use for it really in the first whatever 10 days or actually a week actually I took it back but I might actually reconsider buying it um, we'll see um, so uh, big fan of the DJI brand and their products uh, their support is not the uh, best in the world. I wish they had a, a better um, support system. Uh, but uh, it's kind of a... Not the best in the world. Uh, there's a lot of remote assist sort of a support system and there's a lot of ambiguity over email and whatnot. In any case, I like the products. So I've used these cameras a couple of times uh, on my Jeep, um, and uh, they have a pretty decent uh, battery life. I got some extra batteries to go with it. That's really it. I really wanted to just use this uh, time to test this audio quality and see how this is turning out. I'm hopeful that uh, this might work really well. We'll see, I guess. So nothing much to really add other than enjoy this uh, ride along and uh, and uh, thanks for watching. I think one thing I will add though is uh, I, I'm hoping to do a couple of videos. One on the Triumph Bobber Black and also another video for um, on my point of view and thoughts around Harley Davidson's. Um, 
and their brand and whatnot. So that's coming up later. For now, uh, thanks again for watching and uh, we'll talk soon and uh, God bless. definitely getting chilly here in Minnesota um, day by day it's coming not a big fan of the chilly weather